Hey there guys, it's Henry here, and today I'm going to be showing you the new uh, supportless 1-2400 ships, and just how to use the Blender customization files. So I'm going to get, well, just jump right into it, not waste your time. Uh, this is Blender, for any of you who don't know, and you don't need to be an expert to use these files, I've tried to make it as user friendly as possible, but I need to explain some concepts to you. So first of all, in the uh, image here, we obviously have our 3D model. I can click on bits of it to, to highlight uh, individual items. Uh, with these models, the hull is one piece, uh, but there's also separate hammock nettings, rat lines, sails, furled sails, yard arms, masts, uh, galleries, and the spanker and the stay sails. And there's some other stuff, but I'll get into that as we pass through. So, uh, on the right here, we have uh, an overview that lists all the items in the file. And we're just going to work down this just to show everything that could be changed. So, first of all, you'll see up here we have a folder labeled Guns. And next to it is this little eyeball. In Blender, if you click an eyeball, uh, you hide that item. And the way I've arranged things is that you should be able to click the eyeballs on the subfolders to toggle parts of the models on and off. So, you see here I've got open ports, closed ports. If I toggle off open ports, I get rid of the open gun lids and toggle on closed ports, you get closed gun lids. And the guns behind them uh, have also been despawned. So if you're a gamer that prefers to, to model their ships like they're not in combat or, or whatnot, uh, you can close the ports. I like them open myself. Next down we got galleries. On relevant models, uh, at the moment it's the 74 gunner, which is what we're looking at, uh, the 80 gunner, and uh, is there another one? I think it is just the the 80 gunner and the 74 gunner, but I might be mistaken trying to remember off the top of my head that you can toggle between uh, different nationalities galleries. So at the moment we got the French one, which is this sort of rounded bag. If you change it to British, we get one with a balcony. So exactly the same as with the guns. It also changes the stair layout, if you're being really straight. Uh, French have one staircase in the centre, British have two, and it's the same on uh, the other ships as well. There are, there are a few ships, I think, where you can ch just change the stairs. I don't know. I know there are at least three where I put gallery options on. I can only think of the 74 and the uh, 80 gunner off the top of my head, but there is one more that has these options. Uh, on top of that, we got the hammock netting. Off or on. It's on by default on the pre-exported models. And that's all the stuff that we can change with the hull, just through toggles. Next you'll see we have a masts folder. You've got your fighting tops uh, here. You probably don't want to toggle those off, but they are separate objects all the same. Uh, under that we've got flags, which by, on the default models are toggled off, but you can toggle them on. And let's say you don't want particular flags, maybe your ship isn't meant to be an admiral or whatever, you can click each flag and press H for hide. If you want to redisplay all hidden objects uh, in the file, except those in um, hidden folders, press Alt H. That's Alt plus H to unhide. If I press it again, it will um, unhide all the hidden folders too, but I don't want to do that. Next we've got the rat lines. Um, the model is like this big in real life, so I think the rat lines look fine, but I know some people won't like these exaggerated uh, thick rat lines. The, the idea was both to make them easy to paint, but also to support the masts and the sails. But you can toggle them off if you want to. Um, maybe put some like a fine thread or something there instead. I, I, I don't know. Uh, by default, they're on. Uh, in terms of stuff we can toggle, we've got the sails as well. But maybe you want to replace the stay sails and the sails with paper or something. If that's your, your thing. You can, of course, just toggle the masts off entirely. Uh, and scratch build some, you would need to make holes in the model though. Uh, we've got choices between having our stay sails and our spanker here on the right to the left. So if I untoggle right and toggle left, right, left, it's like the wind is blowing from the other way. One more tricky thing though, uh, you'll notice that the, the yard arms by default are uh, looking straight ahead. That's not very realistic. If you want to be kind of pedantic, I've positioned the centers of mass on these objects so that if you rotate them, they'll actually rotate along the mast. So to rotate a mast, select all of them, click one, then hold shift and click the sails and the furled sails. Now I have everything selected. 
Then you press R, the R key for rotate, Z to lock it to the Z axis. So if I move my mouse around, it's only spinning on the Z axis. And I also like to hold the control key, which locks my rotations to five degree increments. So for a sail, we could do say 20 degrees, right? Click, 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 R key, Z key, 20 degrees. Also gonna turn the flags off. Click, click. Ah, there's no full sail on the mizzen mast, of course. R, Z, control, 20 degrees. And now we have a more realistic ship. The yard arms are embedded enough into the mast that they'll still print supportless there. There's no island or anything. So uh, this model should be completely printable like this. Um, the only issue is that we'll have cropping on the rat lines now because these were positioned to just be in front of the rat lines. I don't know. Uh, you can move them, press G for grab, Y to lock on the Y axis and like move them forward a bit, but then you'll have an island here. So really, if you want to get super into this, you'll have to do some more advanced stuff. I'm just showing you the easy tips for now. And uh, one more thing that you can change. The spanker by default is a short spanker, but if you want ships that look a little older, you can swap them out for long spankers. Let's put this long spanker on the left. Of course, this is a Temeraria class. I, I don't know if they actually carry long spankers, but I just put it there as an option if you want to use it. It's like a generic 74. I'm going to swap it back for a, a short spanker then. So that's our model customized. Now the obvious next question you're probably having is, okay, Henry, right, I see it here in Blender. How do I get it out as an actual printable STL? Pretty easy. Um, click on something and then press A for all to select everything that's uh, visible on the screen. Then you want to click File, Export, STL. Now, because of my choice of recording software, I don't think you can see the window that I'm looking at right now. But what pops up is a little um, file view viewer. Uh, you want to navigate it to wherever you want to export your file to. And very importantly, on the right side of this window that is invisible to you right now, I think, there is a box that says selection only. Click that. I just clicked it. And then click export STL after your name. I'm calling it a customized third rate export STL and uh, I will continue this tutorial in just a moment hello again uh, I'm now on the Windows 10 store because I've just exported my model and I need a piece of software called 3d builder it's a 3d uh, a free program from Microsoft uh, if you have Windows 10 you can just get it in the Windows 10 store uh, it says open here for me because I've already downloaded it, but if you haven't downloaded it here, you'll see a download button. So just download this piece of software. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to open our new STL in this program. This is what our new STL looks like in 3D Builder. Uh, this is literally the window I see the moment I open it. Whenever you import anything into 3D Builder uh, out of one of my Blender files, make sure that mm millimeter is selected up here. If it's centimeter, it'll be 10 times too big. So millimeter, click import. And you'll see this big red box around the model and a pop-up down here saying that you need to repair it. Just click that and let it do its thing. And when it finishes, just close the program and click save. Uh, and that's it. The model is then ready for printing. Um, these models print totally supportless, but if you want to play it safe, as I did have some minor shredding, uh, you might want to put supports just on the bottom of the spanker. Like one uh, support, if you're printing in one 2400, the default size, I would use a light support with a um, 0.2mm tip. That's literally the only support that might be needed. You can get away with printing it without. If you have a little bit of shredding, you can just um, sand the bottom of the yard arm. It's fine. Um, and yeah, that's it. Uh, I hope you like these models, as ever. Uh, I really enjoyed making them. Uh, my imagination kind of ran, ran away with me, and I neglected some other stuff I was supposed to be working on in making these. But um, I don't know... I'm, I'm pretty heavily invested in figures at the moment, as you all know, with my Kickstarters and things, but I have a soft spot for, for ships and naval stuff, and uh, I'm, I'm happy to have filled a niche that needed filling. Um, yeah, so, 
If you have any questions, just uh, leave comments or you can contact me directly uh, on the Facebook group. That's uh, the Turner Miniatures Community Group. But uh, yeah, that's everything I have to say. Have a lovely day and happy printing.